Have you ever wondered how to customize your Microsoft Teams background with a perfect image for your online meetings and events? Maybe you'd like a branded background with your company's logo, or perhaps you'd like your background to be the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Well, it's pretty easy to add a background to Teams, and I can show you how to configure this. Hi, this is Brian Riley, one of the Microsoft 365 engineers here at Liftoff. If you're not familiar with us, we're a group of Microsoft nerds that help organizations get started with Microsoft 365. We specialize in technical migrations and deployments to the Microsoft Cloud. We also have a group of super responsive licensing specialists that can quickly provide quotes in all of the Microsoft Clouds, commercial, GCC moderate, and even the GCC high. Now, here's how to customize those Teams backgrounds. To configure your Teams background, you actually have to join a Teams meeting to make the configuration. So. From my Teams calendar, or from my Outlook calendar, I can join a meeting. And even before I go into my meeting, you can do certain effects and avatars. You can't really do anything until you turn your camera on, so I'll go ahead and turn it on here. And then notice I've got a standard blur background right now. I can also choose from other Microsoft backgrounds that are here, or maybe some filters, but I'll go ahead and join my meeting with a standard blur background. Now, inside of the meeting, if I click on the dot, 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 I have more options. So video effects and settings. And notice it carries over my standard blur. I have a few other options here for my background. Uh, this one I think is a living room on the beach or something. You can click preview to see what this looks like. That looks okay. Or maybe uh, this one here, it's inside of an office. In many cases, these are fine, but perhaps you'd like a more customized background. Like I said earlier, maybe the Eiffel Tower or maybe, um, maybe your logo on a different type of background. So let's see how we can do that. If you head over to your favorite search engine, you can actually just do a quick search for Teams meeting backgrounds. And then there's this nice site for Microsoft that's called uh, Microsoft Adoption, adoption.microsoft.com with some very nice Microsoft Teams backgrounds. So you can go through this and decide what you like. Here's some from Copilot. Actually, um, I kind of like that one, so I'm going to go ahead and download that one. <clears throat> and there's some other ones that are pretty cool here. You could also have a little bit of fun with this and search for custom backgrounds, maybe from something like The Office. You can see here I've done a search for the office background for Teams, and there are certain uh, images here that we can add into Teams uh, with or without our logo. So you can kind of have some fun with this as well. Next step, we're going to head over to our downloads folder or wherever you're saving your backgrounds that you plan on using for your Teams background. Um, notice I'm on an Apple Mac here. Um, you know. It's very similar to the commands that I'm about to show you on a PC, so hopefully you know how to copy and paste and that sort of thing. Um, but basically, we just want to do some graphics magic now to add our uh, logo, our company logo, to one of the backgrounds that we've uh, selected here and downloaded. So I've got a liftoff transparent logo in PNG format. I'm going to open that up in my, uh, in my preview app here. And if I hit Command A, it's going to highlight everything. And then Command C copies it. And then if I head back to my downloads folder where I have my team's backgrounds, I'm going to go into that, uh, that photo that I downloaded from that, uh, from that Microsoft website. Now, if I control V, it's going to paste this logo in here. And notice how it's very small. It's not sized correctly, but I can just resize that. And I don't know. I'll just line it up with this. Uh, co-pilot portrait here uh, on the left or at the top and then the couch on the right or at least the arm of the couch. I don't know if that looks pretty good. I could move it over if I want. Maybe uh, maybe that's a little bit better. Okay. I like that. So I'll go ahead and save my image here and Microsoft Copilot background one. Good. Now, if I go back to Finder, I also have some other backgrounds here. Here's the office background that I like. And let's just make that a little bit bigger. So if I wanted to add a logo here, I could also do that. 
Not sure if you'd want to do that and mess up your nice office background, but you could. I'll put that here. All right, file, save. Now, finally back to our Teams meeting where we were playing with our backgrounds earlier. But now that we've created some custom backgrounds, we can go back up to these video effects. And again, we're inside of the meeting. If I add new, and then if I go to my Teams backgrounds, I've got my custom background with my logo here. Go ahead and open that up. And it should pop in down there. There it is. If I preview it, and wow, I really like that. That's awesome. Okay. And then just for fun, I'll go ahead and add in my office background as well. Let's see what that looks like. There I am on the office. There's Stanley right in the background there. I kind of like the other background with the couch and the liftoff logo, so I'll go ahead and use that one again and apply and turn on my video. So there you have it. We've got a very nice custom background created with our uh, liftoff company logo there as well. So now all of your Teams meetings that you have with your clients or with your partners, internal meetings, they're all going to have your nice Teams background there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.